Looking at modeling some sketch design buildings, here we have the line and basic building. So we're going to take this into a basic building modeling workflow and then convert it into a 3D sketch to do more with geometry. So here, if we just hit basic building and we start sketching around the site, we can um, be accurate in terms of the width that we want. So I want 18 meters. And then you can see here we're starting to get some angles uh, coming up. So we can tab if we want particular angles. Um, I'll just keep this loose for now. And hit return to close it. And then we can uh, extrude it up, say, 30 meters. And hit return to close it out. Here we have nine floors. Um, it's uh, mixed floor height, so you can see it's already defaulted to a certain height at the bottom. I'm going to make it, say, uh, 3 meters, so they're all even. And here we can convert it all into parking, should we want to. Um, I'll cancel that. Um, we also have the function, which I'll make residential. And we have the floor plan here. So here I've selected all my floors by holding down the shift key. I can go to the rectangle tool here. You'll notice there's a few other tools here where we've got different uh, settings that you can use. I'm just going to work with the basic rectangle tool here and add a core. You can see as I'm going over the X and Y locations, it's uh, reading them out here. So as I go and draw that box, um, it can be maybe 9 by 9 so that will give me a respectable size core. And you can see it's featured on all the floors here, and it's in the center of my design here. So just going out of uh, the environment here, we now have something that represents a, a core in our building. Um, also, you can see we're starting to get some readings on the area metrics here. So that's the first part. Um, the next thing I want to do is now be a bit more creative with the form of this building. So I can convert to a 3D sketch. Um, and again, you can also do this uh, down here. Just note it is in beta. So we'll convert to a 3D sketch. Um, some of the tools we have here is sketching on the faces of the geometry. So what I can do is I could potentially do a spline. And I can select that geometry. Got the spline active. And I can draw on that, that face and return to close it out and now it will divide up that face and I can use these tools like face extrude to create interesting forms on top of what I've created here. So really simple tools to um, start adjusting the geometry should you want to. Um, some simple, simple ones here if I go and grab say this point I can hit that hit M to use the uh, move component and I can take that up say uh, 9 meters on this side when I spin around to the other side I can do the same uh, you can do it with faces as well uh, I just want to do this with points to create a bit more interest in terms of how the geometry passes underneath so that one's going to be 6 meters. So it just changes just slightly if anybody's passing underneath this building. Um, some other cool tools here. We have uh, the um, fillet tools. This uh, will work on certain parts of the geometry. So if I go and grab, say, that point and hit return, that will fillet it. Um, perhaps if I try this one, though, and hit return, it may not like it. So uh, we can go OK. Let's see if it likes it. Yeah, so some things may not um, fill it. You can also um, grab that face and we can just use the line tool to draw on that face from that point to that point. Um, sometimes it may show up um, uh, a geometry error, error here, but it seems to be working uh, fine. So I can maybe crank that up, um, say, uh, 9 meters or 6 meters. And now when I go and select that geometry, it gives me some different options here. So you'll see you'll have reverse face, uh, facet face, and flat faces. So if I go and facet it, 
it will now go and add some extra facets between that that curved geometry so there's all these different things that you can do with um, different modeling practices once you select the geometry it will come up and it will give you options to facet the faces um, so if this is a multi-residential building um, we've got floors highlighting here for where the uh, units can be maybe the lower stuff could be commercial um, the top stuff could be roof terraces or also allow for uh, chiller and boiler rooms so here if I wanted to um, keep this uh, aligned maybe with the core of the building I can select that new face we've created right click and you'll see all these different uh, options to manipulate the uh, modeling geometry so if I want to do an offset face I can do that and I can manually drag or I can type in say 1.5 for the inside of that roof and then um, I have two faces here with that face I can extrude and I can face extrude say down say four meters and now I have um, some roof area that's hidden from view to house uh, chillers and boilers and outdoor facilities. So um, you can test all of these out. Um, there's a lot of really helpful modeling tools if you want to go a bit further. Um, one I'll just finish up with here is the sweep tool. And this is if you want to do something interesting. So if this is a multi-residential building and we want to do something with uh, landscaping down here, what I can do in its simplest form is um, I could do a rectangle. When I do the rectangle, um, so if I just do it, say, 4 meters, I want to um, take it up the z-axis, not the uh, not across on the um, horizontal. So I'm going, going up the, the model, and now I have the uh, vertical of that um, shape. And of course, I can uh, adjust it as needed. So maybe I want to just drop it down a little bit. And again, you just want to make sure it's snapping to the vertical axis. So I'm going to have to go a little bit more to be a bit more accurate. So let's say um, that's the shape I want to sweep. And now I want to create a spline. So you can type yes for spline. I'll just do it here. So this might be something that could be um, of interest in the outdoor area. Hit return to close out that spline. And now we can go to the sweep and if you if you use sweep tools before you select a, a face so this is like the profile so you can grab the edges or the face then it will prompt you to select the path there's the path hit um, finish and now we can uh, sweep to create some sculptural object so here's the result of the sketch design using former all I've done here at the end is I've just added some functions. So down the bottom, three floors is commercial. These middle floors is residential. Um, the top floor is unspecified. Um, you can get into adjusting some of these functions. So this one will give us some settings here to explain uh, what the floor ratios and stuff are. And we can also uh, potentially start to um, edit uh, some of this so you can add new ones um, you can add names for them so this one could be uh, plant and I'll just leave that on the, the defaults now we have a uh, plant here so when we go to make that adjustment we've got this lovely bright colored uh, image here to represent the function of being plant so that is um, the basic overview on how to use some of the modeling tools. Again, just to recap, start off with a basic building, and then that basic building was converted into the 3D sketch, which we can use a number of more advanced modeling tools to create the desired geometry we want for our building.